Hey everyone, we are at day 17 of 21 Days of Tapping. And today I want to do some tapping on our feelings and not allowing ourselves to feel the way we feel. Most of us um, can think back to at least one or two occasions when we were children, when we were told um, to stop crying, um, to shape up, um, to stop being so emotional, all those sorts of things. And the, the, as a result, we learn to stop feeling or we make our feelings bad. We categorize some feelings as okay and some feelings as not okay. And of course, in particular, the feelings that are not okay are, are, are the darker ones, the um, anger and uh, resentment and envy and judgment. And um, of course, it's not pleasant to uh, experience those emotions, but um, whomever coined the phrase, you've got to feel it to heal it, um, was correct. And the more that we pretend we're not feeling the way we're feeling, try to push it away, try to shove it down, try to ignore it, all those things, um, uh, the more likely we are to continue to experience them. We may be successful in the moment, but chances are good that they'll pop right back up whenever the opportunity arises. And this is when we explode in a rage, when we uh, blow our top, when we um, seemingly collapse in tears um, at the slightest provocation that seems um, sort of out of proportion to the whatever, whatever went wrong. Um, these are all responses to not allowing ourselves to feel what we feel. So I'd like you to, if you can remember a time when you were young, to go back to that time and remember perhaps how you were, how were you, you were shut down, how you were, um, you were trained in essence uh, to not allow yourself to feel what you were feeling. <clears throat> and if you're having trouble thinking back to a time like uh, when you were a child, then you might think um, more recently um, of a time when you experienced an emotion that you really, really, really did not want to be feeling. Um, for me personally, uh, I can, I don't have to go back that far. I can go back to this morning and come up with uh, an instance of that. Okay, and again, um, if you can recreate that feeling, that would be great. If you can, um, if nothing else, try to recreate the feeling of resistance, the feeling of wanting to push it away, the feeling of not wanting it in your life anymore, and give that feeling a rating on zero to, uh, zero to 10. And let's go to a karate chop point. And you can repeat after me. <clears throat> Even though I don't like the way I feel right now, I accept and allow all my emotions. Even though I do not want to feel what I am feeling right now, I hate this feeling. I'm willing to allow myself to feel it. Even though I really wish this feeling would just go away and leave me alone, I honor and respect my feelings. Okay, let's go to the top of the head. I don't like the way I feel. Eyebrow, I do not want to feel this way. Side of the eye, I wish this feeling would go away. Under the eye, I am scared of the way I feel. Pardon me. I really wish this feeling would go away. This bad feeling. Collarbone. It's not okay to feel this way. The arm, I just want this feeling to go away. Top of the head. There must be something wrong with me for me to feel this way. Eyebrow, 
Because feeling bad is bad, right? Side of the eye. It's only okay to feel certain emotions. Under the eye. I need to stop feeling this way right now. Under the nose. It's too scary to feel this way. Chin. I have so much resistance to feeling this way. Collarbone. Oh, but I wonder if that resistance is just keeping it in place. Under the arm. I think I'm trying too hard not to feel it. Top of the head. And the more I push it away, the longer it stays with me. I, eyebrow. I'm ready to be brave and allow this feeling. Side of the eye. I'm ready to not judge how I feel. Under the eye. Oh, no, I'm not. I only want to have good feelings. Under the nose. It's too awful to feel this way. Chin. It's too uncomfortable to feel this way. Collarbone. I'm really ready to stop feeling so uncomfortable under the arm. I wonder if I just need to let this feeling out, top of the head. I wonder if I just need to allow myself to feel it. Eyebrow. I now give myself permission to be okay with whatever I'm feeling. Side of the eye. It's surprising how easy it is for me to just notice how I'm feeling under the eye. I can simply accept my emotions and allow them to flow through me under the nose. I acknowledge the more I resist my emotions, the longer they'll stay with me. Chin. I don't need to push them away anymore. Collarbone can simply notice them without judgment under the arm and allow them to move through me quickly and easily. Actually, let's just stop there. Take a big, big breath. If you'd like, of course, you can name the specific feeling that you're troubled with. <clears throat> it might be anger. It might be resentment. It might be feeling like a victim or a doormat. So many possible ways to go with this. And um, if you're struggling with this too, one thing you might try is to go back and forth. Have a little argument with yourself as you're tapping. I accept this emotion. No, I don't. I allow myself to feel this way. I don't ever want to feel this way again. Go back and forth and back and forth like that. And sometimes that can be a really useful technique as well. So thank you again for joining me, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.